Next up, a story that began more than 3,000 years ago when woolly mammoths roamed the earth. But what if they return now? That's the idea behind best-selling author Ben Mesrick's latest book, Wooly, the true story of the de-extinction of one of history's most iconic creatures. Based on the true story of legendary Harvard geneticist George Church, the book chronicles the scientific effort to resurrect this distant relative of the modern-day elephant in an attempt to battle climate change. I recently sat down with Ben Mesrick, along with George Church, to talk about it all. Ben George, good to have you. Thanks so much for being here. My guess is you don't travel in the same circles ordinarily. Is that a safe well, assumption? Well, now we do. Exactly. <laughs> well, how did that happen? How would you find him? You know, I'll be honest. This is the first time in my career where I went after a story. Usually mm -hmm. it's people pitching me. And I had heard about George and the story, and I, I Googled his email, and I emailed him, and he responded. <laughs> and he invited me in. So and the rest is history? Yeah, yeah, I mean, he was very yeah. generous. Okay, so time. how does reviving the woolly mammoth I now know, extinct for 3,000 years plus. Mm. How does that help save the world, George Church? Well, it, it, it may or may not. I mean, but the, but the idea is that the, the permafrost is melting, and in that permafrost is more carbon than all the forests of the world times three, or all the carbon in the atmosphere plus some. And the, a mammoth-like creature could... Uh, reduce the insulating snow in the winter, and change the reflectance in the summer by altering the vegetation. And this has been confirmed by experiments uh, by the Zimoffs in Siberia, where they've actually found the temperature lowered by 15 degrees uh, on average. And now that you're a crack scientist, you can explain <laughs> to us how you take the genes from the woolly mammoth, sure. implant them, if that's the right word, in right. some sort of elephant, and then what happens? Yeah, so you ask me the hard question. <laughs> now, so you've got the sequence of the DNA of a woolly mammoth, you've got his genome, you pick and choose the genes that you want to make a mammoth a mammoth, and you insert them into the cells of an embryo of an Asian elephant. An Asian elephant is very close to a mammoth, and the Asian elephant gives birth to what is essentially a woolly mammoth. Do you like this book, by the way? I mean, you're a scientist. You're like, you are the scientist. Do you like seeing yourself in something like this? Uh, you know, I think we like diversity. We like to see uh, anything that can uh, get the attention the and, and engage the public in science uh, is a good thing. But yeah. do you like it about you? I think it's... And I your think wife? It's, and... I think he actually worked pretty hard on making it accurate representation, not the... Jurassic Park, where the scientist is either evil or stupid or both. Well, I don't no. think you're either, from what I hear. At least I don't know you that well, <laughs> I hope, but from I hope what not. I understand. <laughs> yeah, you know, but I, I want to differ with him for a second. Yeah. Not that it, sure. I love this book. Okay. Is, if you know the facts of what happened here, you say to yourself, this is hugely important, but it's not exactly thrilling. But of course, you could say Mark Zuckerberg wasn't that thrilling either. Right, right. What do you see in that story? What did you see in that right. story that convinced you? This is a thriller. I mean, oh, it's really, I mean, what did you see in it that convinced you that his lab, his life, his colleagues were the stuff of a thriller? Well, there's then? a couple things going on there. First of all, there's the woolly mammoth itself. I mean, the idea sitting in my apartment in Boston that a few miles away, there's a group of scientists actually working on bringing back a woolly mammoth. That's thrilling. But, uh, but George... Um, you know, I, I, I idolize scientists. I think that science is where our, our future lies. If we're going to fix the world that we're breaking, it's going to be people in science who are going to do it. And I'm fascinated by characters who are sort of outside the norm, who kind of are in the edges. And, and, and if you read the story, his, his story is fascinating. I mean, where he came from and, and how he grew up and then where he ended up, it's, it's two very different worlds. And well, let me talk to that character outside the norm for a second. You were also the king of transparency. I don't know much about science. Mm -hmm. I didn't do well in yeah. science. You flunked out of Duke, so you didn't do so well yourself, <laughs> by the way, in your earlier stages. But my sense always as an outsider of science is they all scientists closely guard mm. what they do. There's this jealousy. Yeah. This, yeah. You are, everything is public, from right. your genome to your daily schedule. Right. I think that you flunked out of Duke. I think it, it, that it, my letter, the flunk out letter is there. Yeah. So my why, medical records are why there. Did you yeah. embrace, why did you decide that was important in your life, George? Well, you know, and I th important here, obviously. Well, actually, the American people feel that scientific transparency is important. Uh, you know, things can go wrong if you, it is discussed by people outside of science. Um, there's a law that says that 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 uh, grants from government that go to science need to be published in a way that that the average citizen can access. So that was that was a big deal. And uh, but but I but even before that, I, I just felt that it was. It's, it's, what, it's, a, 
you can't complain about how things go if you're not having a conversation with the people that are governing. Are you going to succeed at this? At bringing back, well, so, so already two genes have been brought back. So first of all, it's a miracle we can even read ancient DNA, much less recreate yeah. it. But two genes have been brought fully back and tested and shown to be what you would expect of something that was cold resistant. So the answer is likely yes. Parts of it at least, yeah. yeah. Can't you know the, the question is whether it will have an impact on the, on the carbon. That's the, that's the big deal. The other thing that I, I can't believe you make exciting in this thing is the funding sources. I mean, one thing, <laughs> Peter Thiel, who we all met at the Republican National Convention, obviously a zillionaire right. who's a buddy with Donald Trump. But then I read the other the last 24 hours that a guy has been the, new, the news <laughs> called the mooch by right. most of us. <laughs> Yeah. Scaramucci, the new communications director, reached out to you. When I read that, without yeah. reading the rest, I said, to kill the project or to help the project? <laughs> no. So, uh, interestingly enough, he's been a fan of my books for a long time. And uh, he had tweeted about my book, Once Upon a Time in Russia, when uh -huh. that book came out. About the Russian oligarchs. Yeah, and, yeah. pre the whole Donald yeah, Trump I know thing. That. And so uh, I, I had uh, congratulated him. I've, I've known him for years. And I said, congratulations on your job. And then talked about Willie. And he wrote back and said, you know, he's, he's interested. And uh, he's going to see what he can do. So, you on know, the government I, front or amongst his wealthy private friends? No, this was, uh, I, I, I said, in the administration. So I think he's talking in the government front. I, I think something like this it can bridge that gap. I mean, this is something that I think everybody can get behind, the idea of bringing back woolly mammoths. Of, you know, everyone talks about the sixth extinction we're in. Well, here's an optimistic story in the other direction, you know, bringing back an extinct animal for good reasons. Um, so I think the science in it is very positive and optimistic, and, and it's hard to be against something like that. Can we digress for about 60 seconds before mm. we wrap this thing up? Yeah. Human Genome Project, was it, yeah. 26, 27, whatever, a quarter yeah. of a century yeah. Yeah. now. Yeah. Where are, I mean, I, even people who don't understand science, like I know the excitement and the potential. Yeah. Where are we now in the ability of that kind of work, forget the woolly mammoth, to help human beings live longer, healthier lives? Well, it's relevant in that we use the technology that came after the project. Interesting, the, the technology came during the project was completely replaced after the project was over by a new set that's a million times cheaper and, and enables getting ancient DNA. And that million times cheaper is already having an impact on the population in that non-invasive prenatal testing where you can get uh -huh. your fetal blood. That's millions of women have used this now. Um, and so it's, it's a real thing, yeah. And so everybody exciting. should get their genome sequence because you can get all your genes and analyzed for like 80 bucks. Uh, and then so, you put them online, yeah. all your friends in, right? <laughs> so, George, how tall are you? 6'5". Uh, There's going to be a movie of this, correct? Yes. I'm 6'5". Oh, so there you go. What do you think? Can you grow the beard? Have I you ever had a beard? I can do whatever you need me to do. <laughs> Is there a picture of you with a big beard somewhere online? Okay. That's what I we got to find. That's great. <laughs> Thank really you very appreciate much. It. Appreciate it's it. a pleasure to Thank meet you. you. Scaramucci may have a little less sway in helping this book along in the Trump administration since we had that conversation just a few short days before he no longer worked for the Trump administration. But the book, again, is Willie, the True Story of the De-Extinction of One of History's Most Iconic Creatures. It's out now and is requested by Ben. Here's my casting photo for the movie. I really think we could have something here. Please have your people call mine.